It's Graham here at Crashdown, and today I want to talk to you about Cortana. This guy up here has now appeared on many systems. As the new version of Microsoft Teams Room 4.10.10.0, it is now rolling out Cortana Push to Talk. So this means I can push the button on the device, and that allows me to issue some commands. So, for example, I press the button. Sorry, I can't answer that one. But here's what I can help with. So you get some ideas of what you can do to be a, have a hands-free meeting. However, obviously this has now moved the present button that was in place previously. So that used to be on the home screen. Even though you, when you plug in your laptop, it auto presents, you still have that manual control. In this latest version, we have to go to more and then we find our present button. So usability, it can be a little bit different for, for people now. So how do we take this off our system? Well, it's all to do with Microsoft Teams policy, and we can do that through PowerShell, so you need to be a Microsoft Teams administrator and to run these commands. Previously, when users walked into the room, they would see that present button in the middle of the screen. So how do we get back to this version? So let's now dive into PowerShell and see how we do this. Just before we dive into that PowerShell settings, I want to take you through what we have in the release notes. So on the Microsoft documentation, we have all the different versions released. And remember, the supported version is current minus one stroke two, maybe. So Microsoft encourage you to be on the latest. I know that can be difficult for some enterprises, but the idea is it's an app, it's fast moving, and it needs to be updated regularly. Um, in 4.10.10, we have the... Cortana push to talk enabled by default. And this is the issue that is happening to people and what they're seeing. So this is allowing them to push the button <clears throat> and ask some commands. Now this one here uh, obviously is a similar. So once you uh, have this feature from her, mine keeps going off so I won't keep saying it. Um, but that was introduced earlier. So if we jump back down to a previous release note. Now this was for devices that had a Logitech Rally uh, speaker pod connected up, and it was available for US English. So this was a long time ago, Ooh, nearly a year ago, actually. And no, not a year ago. Yeah, December. OK, <laughs> it's American uh, date time here. But uh, a long time ago, this was released as in preview, and it hasn't come out of preview any further. So, select audio peripherals for tenants in the United States. And also meant your system had to be US English as well. So, what does this mean? Cortana assistance and teams. Let's jump into there. So, this now tells you, you know, Cortana is available. I said it. <laughs> it's available on your mobile cell phone clients as well, your tablets, and Microsoft Teams display. So it's in these languages, uh, US English for US, Canada, India, and Australia. So these are the main devices only. And as you see there, Microsoft Teams Rooms on Windows, so not on Android. And this also tells us how we can do the policy on setting a policy and then granting a policy to certain users. So ultimately, what we want to do is create a policy, let's say, no voice assistant. And then we're going to add the rooms to that system. So let's look at this room here. So I have room number one, so Flex Teams room 01. And I am going to apply the policy to this device. And just actually while I'm here, we can locally disable it. But again, this doesn't need any admin rights or anything else. That now disables it in the room. However, obviously it's grayed out. So and your present button isn't back. So let's see what we can do to apply a policy to this device and we'll reboot it and let it sign back in and see what it picks up. We can also see what the user can do and obviously the uh, keywords that you can talk about. So there's an example on your mobile or cell phone. And on the Windows device, we can also configure this through the XML file. So you can upload an XML file and reboot it. So this uh, can also be done from the Teams Admin Center. I've seen an issue there where it's not, a, it's not turning this feature off. Uh, it's turning that automatic uh, always listening off, so that wake word, uh, where you see that that's enabled as true, but it's not doing the 
the full function layer. So that's why we need to create a policy to forcibly turn off the push to talk uh, element of this. So why don't we first, let's try this to, to prove a point. Let's put this settings for voice activation and put it into our XML file. So all we need to do is obviously create one and I'm going to take these two lines and copy them. And then I'm going to open up my notepad. I like to use notepad plus plus. We'll pop that up. And let's set this up here at the top level. So it's uh, obviously not within theming. And here I have my commands now. So I want to set this to false and also obviously set this to false. So that's now got my required settings that I want. Save this. And we are going to upload that to our Microsoft Teams room and we will reboot. So I have some remote access tools that I utilize. So I've got file access to here as well. So I can simply go to the folder of the device and it's under users, the Skype user, and then I want app data, local packages, Skype room system, and I want a local state. This is where I upload the file to. So I can hit my file upload, choose my file, drag that onto the device, and upload. So that now has the file. So all we need to do is actually just pop into the console and hit restart. So let's see what happens. That's now rebooting and signing back into Microsoft Teams. So let's see what it has done for the user interface. As you can see, it quickly had the present button. It then read online, what is my policy? And it said, hey, you've got voice activation. So unfortunately, the XML isn't the fix to this little issue at the moment. If you want to get that present button back. So now let's go into PowerShell and run some commands. So back in our documentation, it actually tells us how to do some commands. So we've got the new policy. We've got the get policy to understand what we have. And then we have grant policy. So this is where we're going to apply these settings to a user. And then we have set. So if you want to update a, uh, a policy and then obviously remove if you want to remove. I always like to use uh, PowerShell ISE and obviously don't forget to run as administrator. So you may have that already installed, but let's just take you through the commands. Let's pop up in PowerShell. The reason I like ISE, you can put everything in the top, run the command F8 for per line, and then you can see the output at the bottom. So what we want to achieve now is obviously to connect to the teams. So here I have the commands I want to run. So I want to install the module for Microsoft Teams, and then I want to connect to it and then look at the policy. Now, I had a few issues running these uh, earlier, so I am actually going to change my policy through the group policy editor, and I'm going to allow myself to run scripts. So setting it through PowerShell, it's still not doing it, not playing ball. So we need to navigate to computer configuration, admin templates, Windows components, and then Windows PowerShell. So admin templates, Windows components, scroll down, and then we have our PowerShell. And here we have turn on script execution. I will double click on that. And then I will want to choose an enable. So here I have this pop-up and I have the execution policy and I want to choose allow all scripts, for example. Hit apply, okay. And then we can close that down. So back to our PowerShell, and now let's import the module. So we have to do a quick little reboot to change these settings. So we've done a quick reboot, and now let's connect to Microsoft Teams. I get the pop-up to sign into my account, so I'll just pop in my credentials. Remember, you need to be a Teams administrator to, to log in here. And again, you'll need your cell phone or authenticator. Obviously, if you have that set up, and hopefully you have. 
And I approve that. So that is now approved. I am now connected. So let's look at what policy I have today in place. So you can see I've got a global policy all set up. So what I want to do now is set up a policy. So I want to create a new policy. So let's just copy this example here and paste this into my ISE window here. So I want to call it new policy and let's call it um, meeting rooms. So this is going to be a policy that has it disabled and we run that line and then this now has it disabled. Now that we have that policy set up, I now want to grant this policy. Again, you can tab through. So I want to put on a policy. <clears throat> and I want this identity. And I want it for, remember, I have um, Flex Room 01. So, so this is going to apply this policy. And the policy name, there we go, is Eating Rooms. And I run F8 to execute that line. And again, I can now type in a run line four again. Look at my policies. I now have two different policies. So the tag of meeting rooms, it is disabled. And to double check that this user has got this policy, we can run another command here in PowerShell to make sure it's been set. Oh, let's just narrow that down. See, get CS online user. And I want the room 01, and we'll run that single command. So it's got a lot of things there. So what we're looking for is the Teams Cortana policy. It'd be nice if it was an alphabetical order. There might be a way to run it. Um, but I can actually uh, then filter on. So I can filter on that exact name, and I found it has the meter room policy set. So our next trick now is to take this device and reboot it. So I simply head back into the system. As you can see, it has the policy there. So I now hit restart. And the system has now restarted. And we'll refresh this in a second. So the system is now rebooting. Let's have a look at the console. So here we can see it's booting up the Microsoft Teams application. So it's now going to sign in, get its policy. And as you can see now, Cortana is disabled on this device. So even when I go to more, I do not get that toggle here to turn it on and off. It is completely disabled. So if you want your meeting rooms back to how they were with the present, because maybe you're not just quite ready for voice activation in the rooms yet, and we might need to go through some compliance or whatever it might be, this is how you do this. I'll put the PowerShell commands into the description below so you can cut and paste this as well. And you can then have the same experience here. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found this useful and it will get you back to where you were. Thanks for now. Bye. <coughs>